Um, I'm gonna get Civil Services in three turn, which in actually would match up perfectly because I want to get Economics because that's almost always the next one you want to go. F well, I want to go for. Well, you sure I don't want to go for it. I may want to go for it. You have no idea what you're doing. Oh, uh, Lubu. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lubu. It's Lubu. so much more damage now. I guess because their population increased? That's retarded. I better not lose this fucking battle. I have like fucking four catapults. Uh, since now both Sith Lords are dead, or who's gonna take up the new Sith? Or are they are the Sith Lords officially finished with, or are there gonna be a new Sith? Because I, I don't know if Smog is considered a Sith. Yeah. Or if he's just like another, like, force. Uh, Yoda's... Yeah, let's work together. Let's be best friends, Yoda. <laughs> oh no, Lubu is attacking me, Yoda. Let's go kick his ass. Go get him, Yoda. <laughs> Whoa! He starts flipping shit out, and Lubu's like... <laughs> like the epic battle told these centuries. <laughs> I like to imagine, like, y'all came to this planet, and then Lubu was just there, and he's still on the <laughs> he force. He is the force. <laughs> like, you have, like, all these, like, advanced, like, lightsabers and everything like that, and Lubu's just like... Arr! You know, that was extremely stupid. I should have, um... Coached? I should have spent that turn, um, upgrading him. Instead, I didn't. That was super stupid. You must destroy the bright tree village. For too long, they've been a mockery upon us. God damn it. I... I'm not, like, I... This is... I'm not gonna... Fuck! This is really irritating as all fucking hell. I don't... Like, I don't have any fucking units that can claim it besides this fucking one. God fucking damn it, no! I'm not gonna have this bullshit happen. No, fuck off with this. I'm not gonna lose this fucking war. Damn it, this is so fucking frustrating. You should build a big wall. Ah, oh, like... This is seriously fucking trash. It's pissing me off so much. Because they're going to destroy my fucking only melee, and this little fucking prick who came out of nowhere... I would be fine right now if this fucking random barbarian didn't fucking attack me. Well, you also attack them as well? Maybe, but like, uh, my military's there. Really? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Lubu. Boo -boo. Wow, everyone's a fucking cunt in like fucking Prince Difficulty. Well, at least Yoda and Jabba are cool. Who'd have figured that they'd be your allies? Please be weak enough to take. There is silent, like, fucking Dynasty Warriors music going in the background. Oh, I thought that was it's the screams of you. You know what? I, I'm not sure I want to keep playing if they lose this. I, I, like, really, honest to God, I can't take this. And this fucking cunt is blocking me from doing anything! Why?! You're just sitting there, you fucking asshole! I can't do anything! He's preventing- he's- He's single-handedly, like, sabotaging my fucking war right now. By just sitting there doing nothing. I can't. I can't. I'm not, I'm not going to continue playing if this is what happens. Like, no. Fuck it. This is the deciding factor right here. Okay. Done. I'm not going to. No. 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 You know, we're going back, and there's no more military. We're done with military. Military is done until I can fucking blow these assholes apart with fucking AKs. Okay, what turn are we on? We're going all the way back to the beginning. No, we're on turn 69, so I'll just skip forward to 69. And we're back. And Labu declare war on me. A uh, fucking good. What a fucking shit. Let me show you my surprised face. Oh wait, no. 
Okay, so this time I decided to go a different way with my military, and instead of going with fucking catapults, which are useless if they don't have fucking melee units, I'm going with an advanced fucking spearman unit to fucking spear his shit warriors and his fucking prick bag archers. I am coming to fuck you up. And hopefully this doesn't fuck me over like last time. I, I really hope I don't fucking end up just in a fucking stalemate of bullshit again. I was just reading the lore the entire time, and Jesus Christ, there's so much of it. Yeah. There's been a billion books, Nick. Yeah. Apparently all the original Sith Lords, uh, a species of itself, were all red. Red? Red. Red. But yeah, apparently, like, the original Sith were just, like, um, a red species that were, like, very in tune with the Force, and they were just, like, there tended to be a lot of them. And I think after, like, some sort of big-ass war, like, the Dark Jedi all went and found the planet, and basically they started interbreeding. Interbreeding? Wait, what? Not interbreeding. Um, what? Uh, uh, so, uh, you Just, know what I mean. No, I don't. I'm, I'm too busy focusing all my hatred on fucking Labu right now. Brother, to... they're fucked! But yeah, uh, different little species. Uh, not different species, but they uh, became mixed. But there's been like a shit ton of just like... Sith Lords. I mean, it's been going on and on and on and on and on and on. And Jesus Christ... Apparently they all had, like, little, um, kind of sharp-pointed, like, things that came off them. Like, gross. I guess would be the best way to do it. Hmm. Greetings, great leader. Eventually. Hold him for ransom. Look at this fucker with his goddamn single swordsman unit. Let me fucker... No, you fucked up. Do you see this army of spearmen coming out? And I can produce a... Uh, one per turn, so, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you hard, Laboo. Like, seriously, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This isn't gonna end with Hulao Gate. No, oh, yeah, big sexy. Dude, piss off, I'm in the middle of a war. What do you say, he's trying to get you involved in another war? Yes. What a fucking retard. I do like how he's like, what a shame. <laughs> Yeah, I bet it is. I have the strongest military on the planet now. Are you sure you don't want to join me for war? Blue boo, you little fucking dick sucker. <laughs> uh, what is Blue Boo's special abilities? Uh, warrior uh, producing military units also produces golden culture. Huh, so basically, war. Yeah, the Flying General, I think it was, was it what it was actually called. Mm. Did they actually say anything about like how he looked or anything like that? Because that's the thing when uh, they start talking about people that old, it's kind of hard to get a good sense of scale of like, well first what they look like, because you know, all you see is little stick drawings. Stick drawings. Stick drawings. Uh, no, like little, just like drawings that aren't very to scale. Well, he was and nine foot ten, wasn't he? He was nine foot ten, according to legend. According to legend. The legend says, Lubu was eight foot twelve. Passed down by the <laughs> passed down by the ancient hand of the telephone game. Ancient and sacred. I'm pretty sure he had a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Just like <"Gah." laughs> He had a pink bandana. Um, he had a tattoo of a heart on his ass. And scoliosis. He had scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! He fought through it. He was so brave. Brave until he got executed by fucking Sao Sao. After solving cancer. He cured he cancer. cancer. No, he didn't. The, he didn't cure. Sal 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 killed him, and then the cure to cancer was lost. Uh, the, no, the a answer to cancer. The answer to cancer. <laughs> the answer to cancer was lost. You don't think we can answer the cancer? 
That was Lou Boo gone. Prepare for Prancer to answer the cancer. Answer. What? I don't know. Yippity hop 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 hop. Yeah, rap! Skiggly diggly wiggly. Pretty much. Fruit salad, yummy yummy. Oh god, don't do that. <laughs> the wiggle's the hottest new shit on the block. For some reason, no one wants to attack my archer unit right here. Or Lubu doesn't. Good, fuck him. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Seriously, what a fucking asshole. You're gonna turn him into a pincushion. I'm gonna try. Although, like I said before, it's always a fucking huge pain in the ass to try to capture cities. Hopefully, I'll be able to manage it. Because I, I hate putting so much effort into military. Hmm. That's interesting. What's that? He's sacrificing something? He's willing to give me Puyang City if I fucking end this war here. For ten turns. <laughs> I might just take, take that. Take it, yeah. That way you get a free city. And I can and build up get, my military even further. Yeah, I mean, he's basically just like, that's retarded. Give me your fucking city, you prick. Axis City. Uh, shit, I just actually got a lot of unhappiness. Uh, do I, when do I get a courthouse? I forgot. Courthouse is one of the things you need to make sure you don't get unhappiness from conquered cities. Because uh, they're like justice. Justice. And prison armory. Okay. Can I build a courthouse? Good, I can. So I have access to a courthouse, but I can't build it yet. So these assholes are going to start generating unhappiness because their fucking warlord gave them up. Nick, like you need to get, like, foo-foo wigs. That's the only way to distill true justice. And even though we are at peace, I'm going to put all my fucking military right here, ready to go to war, because you were a fucking asshole, and I'm not going to just go like, oh, whatever, you, you know, you declared war on me, but forget that. No, is it impossible to declare war while they're in peace? Yeah, it is. But Can as others declare war during peace? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just between me and him. So if someone else wanted to declare war on him... <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, uh, that would be really good. I could set up a religion. Religion would do me really well. Just sitting out here for no reason whatsoever. Or I thought you could use some extra security. Don't this... worry, we'll keep all bandits away. In case any banditos. Another duels. <laughs> you sure were confident coming into this war, weren't you, you prick? He must be wiped off the planet. I'm gonna fucking conquer every city eventually. Ah, you really want that fucking copper. Why don't you just give me more money per turn? I don't give a shit about horses. Good for me. I like how Yoda's, like, really cool with you. Yoda's not being an asshole. <laughs> What a fool. <laughs> Boo Boo's being an asshole. What a prick. Have the Ewoks come back to bite you yet or no? Not yet. I'm not sure that Ewoks will actually declare war. I think Boo Boo just declaring war because his hostility meter is just broken. Because that's <laughs> how they made him. That's amazing. If only he was getting into alliances and breaking them all the time, then he'd be perfect. He would be Boo then. Oh no, our friends. Oh yeah, don't they like send you messages if you're just like getting close and they're suddenly like, hey friend, or getting kind of making me nervous? Uh, yeah, but technically he only does that to force your hand into declaring war, and since we're at peace, he I can't, can't declare anything. war, so he can't say shit. <laughs> but as soon as up, he's like, you got a lot of military there, and I'll be like, yeah, and then I'll proceed to fucking attack him. How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna just take two turns, okay. So in two turns, th this city, since I got it, military-wise, in two turns I'll be able to start building stuff. Until then, I can't actually produce anything in the city. Uh, as soon as I get enough, I'm going to probably put a courthouse in there to make sure I don't get into unhappiness, because one fucking city dragging me into the ground. I'm probably also going to get a um, uh, Coliseum in there. Gungans haven't really been doing anything. When did I get so much copper? I don't know, but everyone's losing their shit over you having copper. Give me six gold per turn. <laughs> He's like, but you're only 125! <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, you fat fuck. 
<laughs> no. You and me are best pals. <laughs> no. He like rides on your back. He's like, yeah, yeah. To the shock people. <laughs> and he starts like doing flips. We're the best duo you ever saw. I'd watch the shit out of that show. He's the best pals. They share Emperor an Palpatine <laughs> and Yoda. One super evil and one super not. It's the evil and dark side unite. Fuck. That sucks. Suck you. Suck. I hate you. <laughs> I'm really just. I'm not sure, even with all this military, I'm going to be able to take the city. That's how much a uh, pain in the ass it is to take cities. I should what have... What if you just focus... Are you focusing all on one city, or are you focusing on multiple cities? Focusing all on this one city. Even then, it might be a little sketchy that I'll be able to take it. That's how... Just because it's fucking Hulao Gate. And not really, but... That's how annoying fucking, like, early battles are, and how much of a pain in the ass it is to take a city with shitty military. I have decent spearmen military, and even then, it's still kind of a pain in the ass to deal with this shit. Now that I think about it, uh, how much would it cost me to get a Lanch Knit? Lanch Knit, uh, 160 gold. Those guys are interesting. For 160 gold, and that's one of the perks of being a market guy, is that you can build an instant spearmen that can move and do high amounts of damage quickly. I swear to God, if that fucking guy starts to fucking be a perk. Apparently Yoda tried to discover the secrets of immortality. Whoa, that's sick. Really? Yeah. Did he? Uh, <laughs> the vision conjured as part of Yoda's trial to learn the power of immortality attempted to convince the Jedi Master to return to the dark side. Yoda hmm. refused. Oh, It's gonna take a while. Uh... Damn it, this fucking city's dragging me down with unhappiness. Um, I'll get a profit next turn. Maybe that'll make him happy. Yeah, apparently Force Spirit is basically the same thing as Immortality. To, ma to manifest consciousness, which will allow you to commune with living after death. Oh, you mean the ghost? Yes, the ghost. The stupid ghost. <laughs> Hey, son, I'm sorry I was evil. I'm sorry I didn't appear to the prequels. It's okay, Dad. <laughs> cool, now I can find my own religion. I skipped straight from getting a... Um, straight from getting a shitty little fucking thing to going straight to a religion. Yeah. Boom, my religion is found. We're always watching you. <laughs> always. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Listen, that job of the hut deal is one time only. Dark side. Dark side. Uh, actually, which is the most dark side? <laughs> Judaism is looking pretty dark side. <laughs> Edge Lord Extreme <laughs> to Dark Side, the Revisiony. <laughs> it has to be the dark side. Good. Dark side. <laughs> okay. And this is one of the other mods. I'm not sure if I actually mentioned this earlier, but one of the religion mods. So I got a lot of bullshit expanded from the regular, just kind of standard stuff that you came with. And this, it usually takes a long while to get to a religion unless you get a profit through something like a wonder. So that's why I didn't even bother with getting the, um, God, I keep forgetting what it's actually called, a fucking... Pantheon, that's what it was. Um, which provides minor bonuses, um, but I'm not in really too great of a place to get to profit from bonuses like these, where it's like bonus for jungle or bonus from desert. I'm not near anywhere like that. So only having like a full religion would be really great for me. Let me see, what would be the best for me? Hmm. Uh, apparently the living force thing was taught to Qui-Gon Jinn. 
The living force? Huh. Yeah, that one thing where they're just like the little stupid like holograms. Apparently, his well, training was complete upon his death, however, so he can only manifest as a disembodied voice. Huh. Wait, he's, he's like a Ooh, fucking... He's whisperless. whisperless. <laughs> <laughs> and me, the fourth one of the DK crew. Sir, not appearing in this film. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm... I might go with labor, because it might get me that cause scene quicker, which would prevent unhappiness. Uh, but growth is my forte. Growth is my forte. Dark side grows quickly. Okay, um... And this one I don't think it was actually messed around with. This one looks like the basic one. One gold for every four followers. Money. Money. Huh, apparently Qui-Gon Jinn was also trained by Count Dooku. Yeah, remember, that was actually in the movies. I remember that pretty clearly. Okay, so what I want is... I want the fucking thing that gives me... And this is a... This is a little bit on the breaky side when combined with my city. Then break it. Break it good. Do it. I'll good. I will, so I can fucking crush these other assholes. Um, shit. Do I actually not get it until I get my second city? Or my second profit? That would suck. Um, what I want is the thing where... Damn it, I don't get it until my second one. I was really hoping I'd get it this time. Oh well, uh, what I want in, is to get a second profit, that way I can get these two beliefs unlocked, because I can only get these three with my first profit. The second profit will unlock these two, and they unlock the ability to get um, fucking bonuses from World Wonders, and since my city churns out World Wonders at a ridiculous speed... Oh! Oh, here it is! This is what I want! Yeah! So, since... I can, for each World Wonder, I can grow faster, I can get more culture, and that stacks up. And I, I actually tend to go with gold rather than growth on this, because that will produce more money, which I can spend throughout my empire. So, let me see, I'm getting 23 gold a turn, how much am I going to get now? Uh, 41! <laughs> I have near doubled the amount of gold I'm getting per turn, that was the wise decision. Dark side is very powerful indeed. Dark um, side is best side. 